do you uh do you feel like that we are getting weaker as a society of men do you feel like that <clears throat> as i said before there's some guys that are coming up right now that are hard as nails i see them in the you know when i go out and i meet with the young military guys right now they're hard as nails and they're better than better than i ever was they're they're learning faster they're learning more they understand everything from the physical aspects of how to work out better and how to be in better shape and how to recover better they know all that stuff better than 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 we did yeah. in my generation they understand all the tactics better because we've been at war for so long they're getting taught better so there's guys that are out there that are better and stronger and tougher than than i was right but at the same time are there are there people that are getting pampered and getting their ha hands held so much that they don't know how to do anything for themselves yeah you know that's why i ended up writing those kids book i wrote i wrote a couple kids books as well and nice we'll share links to those that's awesome yeah way of the warrior kid it's like there's a kid he doesn't know his times tables he can't do any pull-ups he doesn't know how to swim and he's getting picked on in school and last day of school comes around and he's all sad and crying because he's he ends up on the pull-up bar and everyone's laughing at him because he can't do any pull-ups and he kind of runs away and goes behind the library and starts crying and when that happens he as he's going home he remembers that his uncle jake is coming to stay with him for the summer and his uncle jake was in the seal teams oh I and so it was a pedophile <laughs> <laughs> no no not no, not, not at all man not yeah, at all good. his uncle jake's come uh, comes to stay with him and his uncle jake's you know says hey you want to go you want to go play basketball tomorrow you want to go for a swim what do you want to do and he's like well i i can't go for a swim I, I my life's horrible and he explains all these problems he has and uncle jake says hey all these problems we can get them fixed wow puts him on a workout program teaches him how to study teaches him how to eat right teaches him jujitsu so he can defend himself teaches him how to swim puts him on the path and a lot of kids don't don't have that right now and teaches them that discipline is going to give you freedom a lot of kids don't have discipline and there's something that happened i don't know what it was it was between it's some generational thing there's so many young men out there who i think that are grasping towards guys like you uh guys like jordan peterson coming from a little bit of a different perspective but you know um guys like joe rogan guys you know who, who we are just bet like we are just empty with some of that i don't know if it's a parental thing i don't know what it is but there's some and it's it's i just i see it everywhere and yeah. i hear about it a lot it's a lot of men are and i think that's what it is we did not learn any discipline somehow yeah and i think also it has a little bit to do with if you're always being told if you well let me not 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 always being told but if you're never told hey it's okay to be strong or it's good to be strong hey it's good to be able to defend yourself right hey it's good to get good grades and kick ass in school it, it, it's better you want to be smarter the the idea that we can't compete with each other i think is is has something to do with mm. it to say hey it's we don't want to compete with each other like no actually you are going to compete with people and and if you don't think you're going to compete man you're going to have a hard life because yeah. life is life is about competition and again does this mean i'm competing with everyone does it mean i'm like hey i'm going to get more downloads than theo right i don't really care man i hope you get more downloads than me but I'm competing with you. I'm competing with myself. I want to do a better job. That's what we're, that's what we're doing. Right. right. And it brings everybody up. Exactly. Whereas if you get told all the time, Hey, you don't know being strong yeah. is bad. Hey, standing up for yourself is bad. Hey, if you have an opinion, it's better if you just accept everyone's opinion. It's like, no, actually you can have your own opinion. That's okay. Yeah. And so I think a combination of those things of, I, I think that ends up putting at, at in in a certain generation has put guys in a situation where they they look up and they say there's something in them that wants to be a warrior right that wants to compete that wants to fight that wants to win but they've never been able to nurture that thing right it's never been given any water right and right? it's not even been allowed to even kind of peek its head around it. exactly because 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 a mom or dad saying no no it's it's okay everyone's a winner it's yeah. like, no actually you feel it right you you yeah. lose the game and you're like man i'm a loser and someone says no no it's okay you're still a winner you don't feel that way Fuck that sherman's a fucking loser bro that's what i remember <laughs> this one dude and this dude one time they had this kid in our school named sherman right and he was a fucking loser bro and he wasn't probably really well everybody thought he was a loser he lost everything dude and then one day the last day of school i think in fourth grade he somehow got some boom boxes and put them in the cafeteria right and turned them all on michael jackson right this was the most ginger kid he was so transparent you could see him being alive you could see all mm -hmm. of his organs right mm -hmm. i mean just completely pale 
and he fucking did the entire Michael Jackson dance on the tables and just blew the entire universe open. Right. And after that, I don't even know what happened. I think he might have went directly to the moon. Like he was just a straight (laughs) champion after that. Um, But yeah, I mean, it's like, I think there's also a thing. Yeah. So I think it's that everybody's the same. There's this thing that it's, uh, it's not okay to be different or to like open up your mouth. If you have a different perspective, because then you, at least you learn to be wrong. You learn to be right. You learn to like, Oh, well maybe I am this way, or maybe I'm more this way. You know, Uh, I think also there's a lot of things where a lot of parents aren't allowed to discipline their kids. And so a lot of kids don't feel, um, you know, young people feel more like our parents feel, I think more like they're not allowed to kind of, discipline you hmm. know like when i was growing up you got spanked i remember my, my buddy's mom would beat my ass all the time <laughs> i'm like i don't even fucking know this lady you know but she would whoop my ass and i'm so grateful that she did it was, it was some, i mean i still can feel sometimes that hand hit my you know my thighs you know um but i think there's definitely a discipline uh, a discipline thing that goes on out there um i had one other question